The financial law firm Marson and Lormont were just doing the legwork for a big homegrown multinational. They sent their best corporate attorney, Kate Walker, to Europe to negotiate the takeover of the Vorarlberg Automaton and Mechanical Toy Factory. Kate slinked into the village of Aladilene, deep in the French Alps. She reckoned on 48 hours to close the deal. But then, nobody had reckoned on there being an heir. Hans Vorarlberg, a mysterious character, had disappeared years earlier. Kate had to find him. Without his signature, the deal was off. She checked out the abandoned factory and met the latest generation of automaton. He called himself Oscar and claimed to be the engineer of the crazy locomotive in the station. So Kate decided to hop on, hoping the train and its wheelman could take her to their maker, Hans Vorlberg. Ignoring the warnings of her friends and the threats of her boss, she takes off on a bizarre journey, rolling from station to station further and further towards the east. On the trail of Hans Vorlberg's past, Kate's route is littered with his crazy inventions and the recollections of people who had come across the little madcap guy. She finds out that he was a creative genius. Piece by piece, she put together the puzzle of Hans's life and discovered the reason for his flight northwards through the Russian interior towards the myth of the last surviving mammoths. West to east across Europe, Traveling along the battle scars of the 20th century, Kate finally collars her man, Hans Vorlberg. Time, though, had caught up with him first. He is old and tired, yet his wildest dreams shine on. Apparently, Kate Walker has bid farewell to her old life and decided to follow Hans Vorlberg to the end of his personal rainbow, right to the legendary island of Siberia. Have you heard anything about Kate Walker? No, sir. Nothing yet. She should have been back in New York several weeks ago. I'm afraid she's too far gone. We're losing her. She ain't gonna be coming back. Call her! Siberia is an island. An island lost in the ocean. People say Siberia doesn't exist, but people are so wrong. The isle is covered in the tallest grass. Strange grass that grows through the snow. Mammoths eat it all the time. They're always hungry. Hans, you must rest now. You have a very high fever. Take me to Siberia, Kate Walker. Mammoths, Siberia, all that. It's just a dream, a kid's dream. Promise me, Kate. Messages, sir. Try again, damn it, try again. Hello, Miss Walker? Just a moment, please. I give me that. Kate? Come on now, pet, answer me. I understand your last mission was a hassle for you. But you know the company has ways of showing its gratitude. Kate, it's time for you to come home now. Your place is here in New York. Your job is here. Your friends are here. Your life. Kate? Kate? Kate Walker! I promise, Hans Varlberg. We're going to Siberia. Our man. He's got something. Canton? I can barely hear you. 
Mr. Martin. What news have you got? I, I talked to the hotel guys, Mr. Martin. She checked out of Arrowbad last week. Headed off with Hans Vorlberg. How is she? Seems her health is fine, Mr. Martin, but, uh... What? Her behavior seems... Don't beat about the bush, Canton, please. Look, Mr. Martin, it's like this. I'm afraid that Miss Walker has been acting... Well, how do you say? Differently.
I'm in the middle of nowhere, Martin. There's this bridge that's collapsed. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try finding another way and... Martin! Do you still hear me? My phone! It's nearly out of juice! No! Is it really Kate Walker we're chasing here, sir? You're pissing me off, John. What are you trying to say? Kate Walker, the lawyer. The one with the brilliant career prospect. That Kate Walker's dead. We're chasing some other kid. Someone we don't know anymore. I've got the family on my back every day, John. Kate Walker's got to come home. Our detective is on her trail, Mrs. Walker. You'll see your daughter again in just a few days. You've been telling me that for weeks, Marston. Mrs. Walker... Come on, out with it. You've no idea where she is. Oh, Kate, my little baby vanished. <laughs> she... Maybe something's happened to her. <laughs> Mrs. Walker, please. What gave you the twisted idea to send an innocent girl into the Siberian wasteland? It wasn't me Marston, who... Marston, I hold you personally responsible for the disappearance of my daughter. You hear me? You'll be hearing from me. Mrs. Walker, listen to me. I have heard enough, Marston.
Detective Canton on line three. Shall I tell him to call later? No, I'll take him, Jesse. Sir, if I may, sounds like he's in trouble. Hand him over. Canton? Canton, where are you? In... In hell, Martin. In hell. I'm jacking in, Martin. We'll never find her. Kate Walker's gone. Far away. Into another world. Can't do nothing for her now. I'm coming home, Martin. If I can. This time, we're screwed. Yep. You said it. Well, goodbye. Goodbye, Kate Walker.
Kate Walker is in trouble. We've got to go look for her. Find someone. I don't know who. Someone spunky. Yes, sir. We've got Nick Canton, a detective. He's already worked on some tricky problems. He was good. Yeah. He might just be the ticket. Take care of it right now, John. Get him out there. Right, sir. Hell, what is going through that kid's head? Yeah. Hello, Canton? We've got a job for you, uh... How shall I put it? A special job. 3.30. What the hell is he doing out there? Ah, Canton. Where have you been? I've got better things to do than wait for phone calls. I'm in the boonies, Mr. Martin. But things are looking good. I've got good reason to believe that Kate Walker is right here in this village, or at least in the immediate vicinity. Find her, Canton. Bring her back. Whatever you have to do, but bring her back here, understand? Your money's on me, Martin. Sorry, Martin, the fish got away. She's slippery. Listen, you have to understand, Mr. Martin. She's holding all the cards. And she's in cahoots with some of the locals. Canton, you've put me in an extremely uncomfortable situation. Kate's family are getting anxious. Trouble is all our middle names if you don't bag the girl. This ain't no Manhattan turkey shoot, Mr. Marson. The only way forward is on horseback, across the snow. There's this village, and after that, there's nothing. She's gone off her nut. Oh, shit. I'm in a log cabin. Kind of a hunting den. There's fresh footprints. Kate Walker came by here not long ago. Several days, at most. I would guess she must have gone fishing. Find something to eat. Found some clues here. Some strange kind of bait. Canton, I'm tired. I couldn't give Jack for your namby-pamby clues. I want the girl, you hear me? Canton, I... Canton? Canton, answer me for Christ's sake! Canton! New York, are you receiving me? Badly. Canton, speak up! I... Oh, Christ. There's a minor hitch, Marston. Make that a major one! Kate Walker ne va pas bien du tout. Il faut aller là-bas la chercher. Trouver quelqu'un? Je sais pas, moi. Un type débrouillard? Oui, monsieur. Nous avons Nick Cantin, un détective. Il a déjà travaillé pour nous sur des affaires délicates. Il a été très bien. Mmh, oui, il peut faire l'affaire, en effet. Occupez-vous de ça immédiatement, John. Qu'il parte au plus vite. Bien, monsieur. Bon Dieu, mais qu'est-ce qui se passe dans la tête de cette fille Oui. Allô, Cantine Nous avons une affaire pour vous. Une affaire, euh, disons, spéciale. They told her it would only take a few days. She was supposed to have been back in New York for the weekend. But things took an unexpected turn. Her name is Kate Walker. Do not go! No! I'm afraid she's too far gone. We're losing her. She seems to have slipped off the radar for good. She left on a search for a crazy man. Hans, you must rest now. It took her all the way across Europe, through all its ruins and failed utopias. A strange journey that changed her life forever. There's been no news of Kate Walker for weeks. They say she's still out there, somewhere, far, far away, way up in the icy Siberian wilderness. <laughs> They say Kate Walker will never come home again.